So hey everyone, I assume you have already seen the Enix Person tutorial series for Metroid Dread. Well, as at the moment when I was making that, a new route was found and it ended up being a couple minutes faster. So in this video I'll be going through early screw attack route. There are three different ways to do this and it's just including getting space jump early. And I'll be showing all three of them so you can decide whatever which one you wanna go with. You skip Frozen Art area, you skip Experiment boss fight. The route changes only from Ice Missile on parts. So everything before Ice Missile is still the same. And for doing this route, you have to continue this way, the intended way to get to Spin Boost. Instead of going to Spin Boost, after Ice Missile, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go straight to Varania and grab, up, grab Space Jump. We're in Venaria right now, and I'll be showing uh, the bond that I'm using right now. It's a with the pseudo wave. When you go against this corner with the uh, melee, you immediately press the L button to start aiming up like this. If you see down below the block enemy block there, there's an enemy. That enemy can bounce this diffusion beam to touch that block. And how this is done is that you run against the corner with the melee and press the L button while holding down. And you have to like look at this kind of direction. It's a little bit of RNG or whatsoever from what I believe how this shot is gonna work. You shoot down below on this like angle. You wanna look at that enemy and there's like a visual cue for it that I'm. it's really impossible to explain for me. So I'll provide a picture in the description for you to look at and learn from. When you have the shot and the setup ready, you look at the visual cue from the enemy, then you press the, the morph button to shoot through the floor. And if everything goes correctly, it should break the floor. If it doesn't, you'll, you'll keep doing until you see that visual cue and it possibly will play, break the floor for you. This can take a few tries, but it's a lot more... I can't say it's easier, but it might be a lot more friendlier to go for if you're not comfortable doing bomb jumps to get an early space jump. If you want to do this early space jump with bombs instead of using pseudo, then you have to go back this direction. Over here. If you want to do it only with bombs and without cross bombs, it will be looking like this. Alright, that's how we do that, then you just get the space jump this way. If you don't want to do it with the regular bombs, then you would have to go get the cross bombs, which is gonna be this direction. I'll, be I'll have to be correct how I clip all this for the YouTube video. Keep holding right direction all the time, get over that. You have enough room here to get the speed boost, but if you don't want to, you can also go to the next room. What do you do for early space jump now with the cross bombs? We're gonna set up Science Park from here. Get the cross bombs over there, then just Science Park up. And that's how you can get cross bombs early. Uh, space jump early. Now, on this point, I'll just continue forward with the early screw attack route and uh, what we have to do now is to go to Artaria by using teleports. Better to grapple that, ice beam that enemy, then bomb this block and go through it. The enemy, I think the enemy is really good to us for, for us to get through that. From here you follow the path and get to the elevator. I'll be showing the movement all the way to the, to the early screw attack. I guess I can also 
tell you about this route. Early screw attack actually skips all of the Adam conversations after coming back from uh, Elun and, and having a plasma beam. Yeah, for some reason when you get the gravity suit, the game is not gonna let the game doesn't want to tell you anymore about the game is not gonna make you listen to Adam, but only in a one spot. That only one spot is after gravity suit. Which is a forced direction to go to intended way. But since we're getting early screw attack, we are not gonna talk with Adam at all. Anymore to get to early get the screw attack. The trick for early screw attack is also can be really tricky to to learn, so I'll try my best to teach what you have to do for that. This is the direction you need to go to. Make sure you have enough health to go through these ice rooms if you're not comfortable with your movement. But here is where we perform the water bomb jump to get up on this ledge. And this is where the early screw attack starts and this is where we need the space jump you we want to run we want to jump on this corner like this and get enough height from the corner to raise up from the water It's a really tricky to learn, but it is with the right rhythm and understand, understanding how do you gain height. You won't have that much issue with it. One trick I can give you is that with this corner I'm using right now, is that you wanna sink a little bit after touching it like this. Then jump again and try to keep the rhythm with it. Just keep doing it like this. You'll eventually get out of the water and you're on a surface and you'll get out of the water and get up, get up here I'll show it one more time that was very quick, I'll do it one more time you can also use the left co left corner here too, I'm gonna show it oops, I'm gonna show it as well I used to do it with the left corner too you can use these both corners like this and that's how you can gain height too. Either way, you can use the both corners, just the one corner, whatever that works for you, then you'll go with that and... That's much I can teach about that because it is like something you have to really try it out yourself and you'll find out what's the what's your best method for it. Another water bomb jump is required for getting an early screw attack. Here it is. Now after the early screw attack, we have to head back. And from here you probably wonder why we don't go through Berenia. Well, you see there's a missile door, missile block out other side. We can't go through this door. What we can do is that if you have cross bombs, you'll have a really good time to get out of the water with the water bomb jump. But what I'm gonna show you only right now, I'm not gonna Focus on doing the water bomb jump. I'm only gonna show you the fastest way, which is getting a giant spark over here. Make it all the way up here like this. And if you happen to fail that, you have to do a water bomb jump to get out of the water and just fall jump up here. If you have cross bombs, do the water bomb jump glitch, then do the water bomb jump with the cross bomb and you'll get much you have a much easier time to get out. And that's a backup for that. Now, the fastest way to get back where we have to get to is to do this again. This can be really tricky with the screw attack now, but it is not that bad once you have the muscle memory and the rhythm how to do that. But that's about it. Now I'll be showing you the direction we have to get to. How do we get back? Now this can be a little bit tricky and the best way I have wound out is to be really 
simple is that I don't want to immediately like try to get to the core to the hole like that. I wanna jump off like jump off like from here. So I'll have I'll be able to get out of that. You get the idea. You get the idea. Alright and now where are we gonna head to? Is to Qataris and there is an orange portal in Qataris right next to the red portal that will head get us back to Kavoran. Very close if you don't remember where it is. We go up here, break this path open. And here it is. Get the portal to Kavoran. We're back in Kavoran. And this is the direction we have to head back to. Most of these blocks that I'm gonna shoot are regular beam blocks. So better to shoot them like this, it's faster. And from here onwards, these are bomb blocks. I have to use a regular bombs. Even if this is shown already in the pre in a tutorial, I'll still show what we have to do. After we have gotten the gravity suit. So we'll skip all the way to gravity suit and I'll show what we do after that. Not too bad. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like. Heard it in a Twitch chat. Alright, now we have gravity suit. What we have to do now is to head back. You don't have to worry about this giant spark. If you don't get it, just like I, what I did, we have space jump, no worries. You can get this missile back if you want to. And we're heading back to Kavaran. One thing I'm gonna show quickly is a good way to kill these Gojo warriors back, shoulders faster is to spam missile here. Spam me- oh, plasma, sorry. Plasma. And plasma. It's more DPS for both of them especially and uh, they die faster when both of them takes damage. Screw attack is still really good if you are not good at mashing. If you have already beaten the cross bombs boss then you can just continue past him. If you have not, then you have to fight him. Now after Ice Missile, if you have gotten Space Jump, you have gotten Early Screw Attack, you have also gotten Gravity Suit, Beat then Cross Bombs Boss, you are on this point. At this point onwards, the route is exactly same like it was in a tutorial series you've watched, possibly. One thing I'll show you quickly before we end this video is there's a one trick that we can perform right before entering Fernaria. And keep in mind about atoms. Every single atom conversation, you don't have to worry about them anymore after getting Plasma Beam and coming back to Kavoran or before Ice Missile. Let's say after Ice Missile, don't worry about atom conversations. So the trick I wanna show you is with the pseudo wave that you have possibly seen in the videos and other speedruns where we shoot through the wall to kill blobs and such to break paths down and such. But well, this block happens to be something we can pseudo wave to. And how this is done is that we wanna slide towards this corner and turn around to the right, then to the left. And at the same time, you want to hold your grapple beam block button. And when you turn around, you have grabbed the, the grapple block. And this saves a good amount of time than going around this room. About like a 7 seconds from what I heard. But yeah, from this round onwards, when you go to Venaria, you get Storm Missile, you beat two Jojo soldiers, you get Wave Beam, you come back to Hanovia, you get, get Power Bombs, and that's the same route how, how it is done in speedruns. I hope this video was helpful for, for you to learn early screw at the crowd and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.